Hi, welcome back to Halloween House. I am here with my friend Penelope, and excuse her for not being dressed, but she's going to help me try to make a homemade project for my haunted yard this year. A lot of my props are homemade, and this is one I've seen online. I'd like to attempt to make it. I have not watched any videos to make it, so it's going to be interesting. So let's see how it turns out. So these are the items that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to take the chicken wire and wrap it around Penelope to get her shape and hopefully be able to make a ghost dress figure for the yard. Um, handling chicken wire can be tough, so I'm going to wear some gloves. I've got some tin snips, some other clips and bungees, figuring that those are probably a good way to get this to form the shape around her. So we'll see what happens. So the first thing I'm doing is just trying to get a feel for how much I'm going to need to trim. So I have taken the smaller piece of chicken wire for her upper torso and I'm going to cut it here with the tin snips. So my first section is trimmed. My goal is to make this piece headless so I'm not going to go over her head but I am going to try to come close around her neck to make it look like a dress with somewhat of a collar if that works. So I made a few cuts so that I could try to bend it a little bit closer around her neck. Now I will need to eventually take this off so the spots that I'm clipping are actually going to be where I can release this to take it off of her. But it is starting to come a little closer around her neck which is what I'm kind of looking for. And then I also want to cinch around the waist so I'm going to give that a shot with a bungee cord. So currently not the most flattering outfit in the world, but it is helping to shape the chicken wire. I did make some more strategic cuts so that I could pull pieces together and fold them over so that they would hold. So I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and I'm going to take my larger piece of chicken wire and I'm going to cut it to make a hoop for the skirt. So just like most projects, as you get through, you start to get new ideas. So I got an idea that a good base for this ghostly figure and its skirt would probably be a hula hoop. So I bought a hula hoop, spray painted it green so when it's on the grass it won't be as noticeable. And I'm going to start putting the hoop down around the mannequin and putting a lot of chicken wire to make the um, skirt. I may or may not put fabric on this when I'm done. I'm still coming up with ideas, but uh, again, that's how a lot of these projects start, and it's a lot of fun seeing them come together. Okay, so I've trimmed the chicken wire to make the skirt. I don't know if it's going to end up going all the way to the ground, but I am going to use the hula hoop as a base. For now, to get it started, I'm going to take some floral wire, and I'm going to attach the chicken wire to the hoop to get the start of the form. So I've attached most of the chicken wire to the hula hoop. Not all, I want to kind of make the back flow a little bit. It's kind of difficult to work with because it's very sharp, but I will make it work. But I do have a gap here, so I'm going to take an extra piece of chicken wire that I had and attach it to both pieces so that it can be a full piece of chicken wire. And I think at that point I'm probably going to be connecting the front and then taking the mannequin out because otherwise I don't think I'll be able to get it out. Um, so that's where we're at right now. So I use floral wire to join the two midsection pieces together. And then for the bottom, because these were raw edges, I was actually able to fold them up and under to secure the skirt to the top part of the corset. I did not do the full piece because my next step is going to be opening up the back and lifting Penelope out of her cage and hoping it holds up on its own so I can finish. So as soon as I pulled Penelope out, the top corset area did come down a bit, but it is holding its shape so I think as I cut the skirt to make it more plump looking, it will probably hold up. 
So my creation is now standing up. Um, I, at this point, would say if you are a beginner to making homemade things, chicken wire is probably not the place to start. Um, it's pretty difficult to work with. You're going to get a lot of cuts. And if you have a background in crafting and sewing, you might do okay. Um, this one's got a ways to go, but it is coming together. So since it wasn't the exact shape that I wanted, um, I grabbed a piece of fabric that I had laying around. And I think if I cover it in fabric, maybe put a belt on it, I think it's going to look pretty nice out in the yard. So give it a try if you're pretty confident in your skills. If not, there's all kinds of things you can do for Halloween. Stay spooky.